hello everyone so uh, let's start with today's topic after doing the five sessions on analytical reasoning i have come with a bit of lighter topic right but still many things to learn let's see how much learning we are doing it today right that is on coding decoding okay so you know about this uh, coding decoding as such do you know about uh, what uh, what we are going to study in coding decoding yes can you tell me what will be the coding decoding all about the coding decoding is going to be all about alphabets right so today we are going to write right from the beginning right since i think uh, three year old you may have been that from that time right this a b c d until date we are learning a b c d right fine so see how important it is to right know about the alphabets okay so uh, let's uh, start uh, with alphabets fine but before that right we have organized uh, this uh, uh, scholarship test for clat 2021 so those who are targeting CLAT 2021, right, uh, should target this exam. This is uh, the exam as a scholarship uh, test, right. So yes, and we mean it. Whatever we say, whatever the commitments or the announcements we do with respect to this, we will be following it fine. And the entire description about uh, this and the link for the test and everything is there in the description box. So Arihant. <laughs> it is it is not for you because you are already an enrolled a student but fine all right so you can take a call on that but anyways so friends on a serious note if you are if you uh, really want to see where you stand then yes uh, join this test appear for the test and take the best of it okay fine and as i mentioned the uh, the link and everything is there in the description box so you will get all the details from there all right okay fine so let's start with today's session right so let's start i'm sorry friends okay so sub uh, uh, first of all right we should be very familiar with the alphabets as i said right that alphabet is like since uh, i think last 15 years or 14 years we have been studying alphabets and we are still studying about alphabets so very first thing you should know about the alphabets is their position values see in coding decoding it is not necessary that you have to but then you have alphabet series as well so when we see the sequence and series we will be having alphabet series but today i'm not going to touch the series part i'm just going to touch the coding decoding part right so in that you should be comfortable so the very first thing i tell my students that what you should remember right is uh okay just a moment please Just give me a second.
okay so we are done now all right so before we go to this uh, thing what we should know about it we should you remember there are many you know the tricks you will uh, learn but you know what i believe in is that we should go for the minimum you know memorizing thing because the kind of aptitude test we are going to appear for is not going to be uh, you know a test where just your ratification power is going to be checked or your mugging power is going to be checked the aptitude level uh, which we are going to appear for right the, the the level is going to be where along with the basic concept you should know the application of it and that is why i always believe in that go for as minimum you know magnification as possible otherwise friends there are multiple you know the tricks but i would go for the simple one or two trick which is suffice which is sufficient to you know handle the things but yes if you are good at it and you want to learn as many as possible fine that's up to you okay say for example when i talk about you know this alphabet series so i always tell the students that if you go if you remember this thing right ejoti it is really very helpful okay for coding decoding as i said that this this initial part the position values of alph alphabets we must know and for this uh, you know what happens that when we are doing the practice okay so we know that this chapter is all about coding decoding or this chapter is all about alphabet series so you know what we have is that a b c d e f to z 1 2 3 4 26 26 and even we write it in the reverse also a 26 b 25 c 23 z 1 and then you know Uh, we uh, see the questions and we are solving it we are enjoying it and uh, oh these are very simple questions i mean there is no challenge in this the real challenge comes friend challenge comes friend when you are doing each and every question without referring that table okay so whenever you are practicing the so practicing the questions on alphabet series or coding decoding right please don't refer the table then in true sense you are actually practicing the questions okay so that if you are doing 50 questions means you should memorize or try to recall it 50 times the you know the values and everything with respect to alphabet and that eventually will make you more comfortable but to start with i am giving you one very simple trick if you memorize this it's going to be of great help which i have already written over here e jotting What do you mean by ej? Why I say ej? Because these are the alphabets which are in the multiple of five. So e position value is five, j is ten, o is fifteen, t is twenty, and y is twenty-five. Okay, fine. So say for example, if I ask you that what is going to be the alphabet position value, right? Uh, say of q. Okay, so I know. right i know that it is o is 15 m n o p q o p q 15 16 17 17 right so q i am know that it is going to be 17 so i don't have to memorize actually this but friends let me tell you there are ample you know the ways of mugging it you can but in still i haven't my work is getting done by just this much of thing all right fine okay Oh God, may I know what is this uh, discussion going on? Fine. All right. Fine. So uh, this is what you should remember. Okay. Now, so this is what was there in dictionary order. but sometimes the question can be even the reverse dictionary order as well so in that case also the formula is very simple so if you want to know a position value right a position value in a reverse order so if you want to know the reverse order it is nothing but it is going to be uh, say i can also write it that original see can you see that uh, the position value of a 
in dictionary order and in the reverse order right so this together makes it 27 we all know this right so you can even go for this also so say for example if i want to know say the position value of a then in reverse order the position value of a is going to be nothing but 27 minus 1 27 minus 1 okay fine so i am getting the value of 26 this is just to make you understand because it is visible say for example if i want to know what is the reverse alphabetical order the numbering of q okay so for q we know what is it, it for q it is going to be nothing but 27 minus 17 this is going to be uh, 10 okay so in reverse alphabetical order the position value of q is going to be 10 so if you know the uh, positional values you can also go for the reverse positional values is this thing clear fine so far so good right okay so this was something we have learned or in fact i would say we have revised or recalled with respect to alphabet positions okay the numbers the second thing is that if if you can right if you can then uh, you know there are you can associate with some fun words with it then also you can even uh, remember the pair so this is sometimes a logic uh, applied that the sum total of both the position values of the alphabet should be equal to 26 or 27 i mean depending on the question but over here i am taking it 27 okay so we know like you can write it a to z so this is very easy to remember right you can have this b b o y boy so b and y they are the you know the reverse uh, or the extreme uh, alphabets pair right mn okay then l o you can go with this l o so l o is there right or you can have h s high school right or you can have uh, e v s we know e v s as our subject so you can remember e v or you can remember you know uh, say any other word say for example dew dew drops or mountain dew anything right anything so d and w so you can remember like this d e w but you have to remember the pair d w then don't bring e into the picture and don't create the confusion okay so sometimes you know even this is also going to be of great help no need to memorize all so you don't have to memorize all the 13 pairs okay even if you're in a position to okay relate some 10 12 it's going to be of great help okay fine all right oh yes even sinchan is not there pranjal is not there and uh, good night or you can for gt i can say great so great generally you should go for but yes develop your own method use your own friend's name or the words which are you can associate with or your own logic behind it but yes if possible go with it it is good it will definitely help us in you know identifying it are they into the uh, you know high speed which is high speed very good oh so i think uh, one by one if you start giving me hamare all all 13 pairs we will be in a position to complete okay inductive reasoning <laughs> okay i r inductive reasoning very good instead of deductive reasoning which were we were doing it yesterday it has come wow arihan love you ah number n m so it can be okay n m m n fine very good all right friends this is for you as a homework so you make your own pair and you just do it but just i wanted to sensitize you that you should do it okay Manan, fine. All right, chale. Now let's. Now what we are going to do is today we will be seeing it. That what all variety of questions are asked? So uh, today I will be taking a heading. I'll be trying to discuss the things with you, and then after that one or two examples on it to just uh, get you acquainted with it, and then after that we'll have the practice questions. Ready, friends? So now you are ready with your pen and paper as usual. Namrita, ma'am, session without pen and paper of no use right so are we all ready now fine so rearrangement okay 
so in this what happens is that there are many techniques okay there are many techniques so whenever you are practicing it and you come across the logics as i always say that you should have your own notes in that set of loose papers i say so when you are coming through the rearrangement you should know right that which all kind of possibilities don't go for the simple ones rearrangement in the sense that say the word is uh, say uh, given pranjal okay and in that alphabet each alphabet uh, right is coded by adding plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 or plus 1 2 3 or minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 so all these possibilities are there apart from that if you find any unique any unique method that oh this is also possible right then just note down that this is also what simple simple logics you don't have to write friends because when you as i always say when you do a topic you only consider that you have done this topic when you have done 300 plus question on that topic yes so that is the bottom line okay when you say that yes ma'am i've done you know this topic it means that you should have practiced 300 plus question on that particular topic okay so when you do those 300 plus topics then you don't have to note down the easier ones okay plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 no go for the good ones that the logic which may not click to you instantly okay fine and those logics just start putting it in one page so that when you want to do the this uh, you know want to refer it in a one go just go through the pages and entire topic is ready okay so i have come up over here with few of the examples let's see how you do it all right chaliye devraj 300 you don't have to do in a week okay say i am giving you a target till october so you at least you should have that number in your mind that you have to do 300 questions so you are doing 50 then again 50 then again 50 then again 50 like this you have to do it not in a one go okay oh yeah pranjal see i was missing you so much and very sinchan goku even sinchan since uh, i think the day i started analytical reasoning sinchan gayab huh prashant prashant gudupalli i think is also not there fine anyways so you got my point right devraj very good fine so now let's see uh, today see friends be prepared because this is an orientation lecture i really wanted you to learn something in each question as far as possible i have come up with a very unique you know concept okay in case it doesn't click to you it is okay because if this is your day one we are here together to learn all right friends so just don't give up oh my god you know this this doesn't click to me so i am not going to practice it please friends don't do that and intentionally i have come up with a question in which in most of the time you are going to get a very unique logic okay so be just with me all right okay fine so let's start so here is the question in a certain code junk is coded as this java is coded as this and jerk is coded as this so how is zinc written in that code easy since <laughs> you will only come if the it is your comfortable zone huh? or else you are going to be yes correct ramya hello very good i am seeing so many new names today fine the answer is c okay bhagesh you'll have to if you can can you share the logic behind it 
the way i have written the way i have written right yes yeah, shruti the way i have written it should have clicked right see f u m n right so j q you had to just uh, check and the answer out to be so what is the logic over here what is the logic the logic is the logic is that i have taken the a uh, pair rever right reverse pairs right so here if i see that the the, the logic was clicking to me through f u and m n because they were very close right fine so m n just now like namrata ma'am manan so many you know uh, this uh, uh, ways of uh, tricks of memorizing was been shared so from there itself i am getting this clue and f u fun so f u remember fun f u so you can have this thing so the answer from that perspective is going to be z i n c so c the pair is going to be or you can write the values huh? you can also write the values 26 m n so 14 yeah our uh, friends along with ejoti uh sometimes you know i also apply this thing that m is 13 so if we know that m is a mid value so m stands on 13 so 13 m n so 14 right a b c d e f g h i j i j and 3 so you can write the counter ones of for it okay fine so the answer is going to be this so answer is a okay very good Let's move on to the next question. That's okay, Namya. This was your first question, so that's fine. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So, Bhagish, got your answer, dear. It's D. I thought so many people gave the answer, but the names are same. <laughs> All right. So, what is the answer to question number two? So, rather than answering, <laughs> right? Let's see first the logic. What is the logic all about? Hmm. so independent is written as this okay so what was the logic the logic is independent right and it is written as dni and this gives me the clue ind dni right so 3 if i see that 3 then yes it is e p e and if i take next three n d e then it turns out to be e d n and n t would be written as t n got the logic yes criss cross middle so we were making the group of three right and we were just interchanging it very good all right can we make it the similar kind of question more tough can you give me a logic right 
a logic which may not click in the first go but yes that logic is also there with respect to criss cross yeah can can anyone share with the similar criss cross what is the logic which generally it won't be there in the first go but yes it is there can you share it some logic khatarnak okay so what all possibilities can be there we can change the pattern in between you know what happens what they do is one of the logic okay so i'm just sharing one of the logic out of the way i don't know whether i'll come across such question or not but okay i'm just sharing what what will be done so the logic would be that you go for this criss cross method after that after that you write you don't write d and i okay you write the reverse so you write the pair the reverse pair of it okay or you are adding one alternate letters or adding one to every letter swapping in the interval but then you know instead of say uh, writing d right if you have this n and for i it's going to be so if i just write for this also i can just write for this so instead of so i am writing so the new pair is going to be like this also d i m e p so along with p what it comes m n o p 16 so you have to write the pair of for this write just this and you can see how it comes right so even it can be that also so friends be prepared for so try to experiment with the logics okay okay p u purple apparel okay fine so pu thank you ramya fine chale let's move on to the next question it was t for the previous question the answer was t even devraj i also want you to be prepared for it okay so that any question comes any topic we will do dear we'll do to such an extent that you will start you will be in love with the topic okay so question number 3 d what is the logic over here what is the logic yes uh, anumitha correct divakar correct the answer is d but what is the logic behind it yes but what is the logic share the logic because see why i am asking the logic because it may happen that you come up all together with a different logic right and still the answer is same i want to know is that a possibility that's why i'm asking the logic over here so next time uh, when you are giving me the answer of the question and i say yes then you also be ready start uh, you know typing in the chat box the logic as well we have to just see the pattern right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is right cross coding is there middle swap last letter to first swipe the last end between considering as pairs okay no here it is you see and over here what we have done is we are writing 6 5 2 4 0 oh, ss3 6 3 2 4 5 and 1 can you see any pattern 
नहीं प्रांजल वी आर नॉट आस्किंग अबाउट फ्रेमिंग इट ओवर हियर विच यू नो द लॉजिक यू अप्लाई दैट इज वॉट आई एम आस्किंग एंड येस and you know the last uh, the thing was that yes you can see that it has got okay then then it was a pair of es and what about ig it was unchanged but fine you should play with it my my concern is that when such things are there you should play with it so that you become more and more acquainted with the multiple logics in in exam it's not going to happen friends that for a question there will be the multiple logics in case it is there still only one will click to us because we will be giving within a time frame right and more importantly if say multiple logics exist then the final call is going to be of the paper setter or that question will be dropped so we don't have to worry till that extent at present we are learning and hence since we are learning we are experimenting it that's it okay fine all right fine yes the answer is d then there is a replacement so interchange of the words oh, i'm sorry the alphabets okay so there can be the replacements in that way so let's see how this uh, what kind of issues come over here so this is the question Sinchen, review your answer. B When such a long uh, you know the word is given right be very careful in writing the alphabets because sometimes they may come up with their own so they may drop one or two uh, you know the alphabets right and we goof up okay fine so let's see surprisingly what is the answer we are getting Sebastian uh, can you share the logic what is the logic you have applied very good rashi correct answer rashi juneja your answer is correct so now everybody is going to get answer as c but don't just type c you will have to type the logic as well <laughs> yes may i have the logic now share the logic like i got obviously somebody has said a b c d i have got nobody has mentioned so far e but i have got all the logic so far just opposite of the alphabet okay so see 
all right or else you could have even you know written okay sanskar plus 12 plus 12 oh very good logic is reversing the alphabets in swap as pairs yes okay so if i write uh, 13 1 i'm writing the values very quickly 18 22 5 j k l m 12 m n o 13 s t u b 23 and 19 okay fine u is going to be not 23 big u r s t u so it's going to be 21 okay fine now you see what is happening if even if you see so sometimes writing the position value also gives you an idea that what is happening got it so it's going to be 26 here it is 14 here it is a b c d e f 5 a b c d e f 9 so can you see what is the what are the logics coming up sometimes even when you write this it is clear very good okay fine so see how the logic is going you can you can cross cross it right or you now put the values and see the uh, changes happening so sum total so cross may you can see that in the cross the sum total is 27 even you can see that also so it's up to you and let me tell you friends and when such a long you know that this thing is there you don't write each and every alphabet say if i see the very first okay so i know that it should have begun begin with f f u right so if that is a the case then obviously b will not be the answer then you go for the other two or you reverse it and then you write it whatever but take a chunk of it once you know the logic don't write each and every alphabet go for the elimination method all right so this the point over here is that you have to go with the elimination method okay reversing the al fine and subtract 27 fine so now you can take a call on that let's move further Next question. I hope question number twenty. Uh, question number four is clear to everyone. Now, huh? see, I'll just repeat for those who couldn't. See only first two are getting interchanged, huh? Then eighteen plus five is twenty-seven, twenty-two plus nine. So you should have been reversing it, huh? You should have made it the pair in that way. But fine, chalo. Question five. Yes, thirty seconds. That's it. Good. So we can see that afraid. And we are having we are having a at the end, right? Ghost. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six alphabet. 
but when it come down to coding of it right then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we are getting a at the end so what they are doing is that sometimes it is like the first letter is given at the uh, last but over here we can see that irrespective of the first the last alphabet is a right and then we have e k v f m i and a a comes additional fine so a is 1 e is 5 so we know it is going to be we know that it is plus 4 right then f is 6 right j k so it is 11 position value is 11 so i know that we have done plus 5 right then m n o p q r so r is 18 and we know that 18 so r p q r s t u v so now we are at plus 4 so here what is the logic plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 this is what is the logic right so the answer turns out to be because at the end you should have a so this option goes out of the picture right it should start with t so this also goes out of the picture the alphabets and uh, here the alphabets are less even this goes out of the picture so answer was among a and c fine all right this now you can handle because you know the logic so i'm not taking this question number six question seven question seven in a certain language updates is written as a r g e y i z shruti you mean to say the sum in the sense the number of alphabets here or position values i think the summation of position values would be a bit more time i mean this is what i feel if you think that this logic is correct it's fine dear you can apply till answer is same we are not going to worry about it okay we are not going to fight for the logic we are going to fight for the answer Yes, that can help you in eliminating the options. Devraj, dear, all of you, when you are giving me the logic, I mean giving me the answer, give me the logic as well. Question number 7. Yes, friend, share the logic. I want to learn from you. I am seeing many different logics. So, I am literally learning as well. I am going to go to the chats again. I am literally going to note down the logics. Huh? And I'm, I am obviously, I will verify that. But uh, say in the previous question number 4, I got so many different logics. So, I really enjoyed it. O6, N plus 2 and so on. Okay. It's okay, Devra. Let me also give, give me as well the chance to laugh. Let's laugh together with logic. So here he says that O plus 2. Then O plus 6 
So, so what is the logic dear Aryan what is the logic O plus 6 N plus 2 then L ka kya karna hai what we are going to do with L logic should be something uniform na Angira, Ramya, Shob, Charmi, Hetal, where are you all? Definitely you must have come up with some answers, it's okay. You just, just share your answer. Alright, I'll tell you what is the logic. Can you see these belong to a group? called vowels right and see how the treatment has so the logic is over here the vowels have been given a different treatment and the consonants have been given the different treatment that's it so let's see so what is the treatment given to the vowels are u a e i o u a so here is a a e so the very next alphabet is coming so a e i o u a e i o right <laughs> a e a e i so i is there on in all and third last position O should be there. It is in all and U should have started with. So C goes out of the picture. D goes out of the picture. Right. Okay. And then now P, Q, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Plus 6, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 16. Sanskar, what is the logic? Which series you are trying to explain me? Right? A, B. So, here we are getting D, E, F, G. Okay? P, Q, R. Then P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Y. So, can you? P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. So, what is the logic here? Can you give me the logic now? See, I have written. Right? So, what you are going to do? The position. So, if it is 3... Say P, P, Q, R, D, E, F, G because D was in the third. So, three positions after this, right? Then P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. So, 4. So, I am adding plus 4 over here and over here 5, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 6. So, it is the sixth position. Can you see the logic? Vowel, next vowel and consonant is not next consonant. The position value, right? You have to get into that. So, M, N, O, P. M, N, O, P. Then here it is going to be L, M, L, M, N, O, because this is at the third position. So, plus 3. Okay. So, similarly this. So, this is going to be the answer. And the answer is option B. Okay. Got it? Fine. So, here what, what, what we understood was that the... I think rest all can see me. Ma'am, I am unable to see or what? The calculation or, or the writing? Okay, fine. So, is the, is the logic clear? So, here what we did? Position value, consonants, position value we are adding it. 
and the alphabet and to the uh, you know the vowels the next vowel let's move forward now next question question number 8 Sinchin, when you will be doing 300 plus questions now, logics will come to you like this, at least in 90% of the time. Believe me, the statement which I give is verified one. 300 quality questions you do and then you see the kind of comfort you will get. It, initially only I said that I have come in most of the questions with the unique ideas. So that it is not repetitive in nature, so that you learn the new tricks, that is what is objective. Okay, but when we'll be doing some practice questions, you would really enjoy that because you will be in a position to apply. Yes, what is answer to this question? Okay. There should have been a fourth option. Typo error is there. Let me write the O Q O Q. B or C O Q. Yes. What is the logic? What is the logic? If I have to apply it to this mystery, what is the logic? I think here we are missing one, you know, the option. I don't know whether that is the right answer or not. But actually, if I go with the midnight, it'll make you understand a very beautiful logic it is. Right. So Ankur, uh, this is because we are just, uh, we are not targeting any specific exam, but this is going to be the part of all the state and national level entrance exams. So maybe two to three questions you can expect, but along with this exercise, even the alphabet series will be easy. So there are actually two topics connected with this logic. Okay. Can you share the logic? Please, you have given me the answer, but give me the logic. What is the logic? What, apply to midnight and we will figure it out for mystery. So, I will tell you what you were supposed to do was write it like this. So, write it, the logic was T H G I N. D I M okay and then from here you subtract 3 okay so what you are going to get what you are going to get over here can you see this was the logic so you have to reverse it and then subtract 3 and you are going to get the answer all right so this is what the logic was very good let's move on to the next question random replacement Okay, so reading is written as this and option is coded as this. How is airport? How is airport coded? Right, 
now because i have given you the random you can see something over here very beautiful if you can notice it that for n it is e right fine so for so here you can see that for n it is e fine so we can go yeah so earlier in the previous question i think some option yes is missing so i just uh, shared the logic with you that's it yes question number 9 so what would be there for so we have to go for airport so here we are just trying to see where the a is so a comes with p right so what will be the answer to this question now devraj the answer to question number 9 is c let's see so p for a it is p then for i it is l p l okay for r i don't have any option but okay but again for p i have for p i have f so p l p l dash f p l dash f so this is not going to be the answer okay and what do i have for reading an option t yes if we go with this method the answer is d so here it was no logic you have to just associate that associate with it and you get the answer all right next question the combination codes let's see see i have just come up with this uh, headings ha huh? but as such uh, we don't have the headings okay you are straight away going to get the question r is u yes okay fine okay so dot of you can see that in the answer you can see that e is uh, say o, uh, u is missing so d a u g h t right so can we do this and then arrange let's stick to the topic ankur you can view the sample questions and all fine so can you give me the logic to this question what is the logic i have given you some hint yes the answer is c correct here i am giving you the logic behind it and that is that you have to write the word drop the third letter and the rest of the alphabets you have to arrange in ascending order okay see why that's why i gave you the hint because this was something new it would not have clicked to you so that's why i am just telling you you are supposed to drop every third letter the uh, the letters which are left you have to arrange in the alphabetical order okay very good question number 11 flower is coded as 5 8 9 7 3 1 and wind is this then 
Now in this kind of questions, no need to go for the logics. Just look for it. Seven is associated with which of the number? Seven, seven. So it is with the W. So first and last alphabet should be W. So this goes out of the picture. This goes out of the picture. Then we can see that if flower one, two, three, four, five, six. If there are six alphabets, then how many numbers should be there? Six uh, numbers should be there. So over here there is a difference. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten alphabets. Ten numbers. So which one goes out? C goes out. So I'm just left with B and E. And just verify it. Where is the difference? Say R R or R E and just look for it. And then you will be having the answer. And the answer to this question is option five. E. Sinchen, yes, the answer is E. Okay. Fine. Right. Uh, okay. Now here with this numbers right see the how we can play with the positional values so we know what is the position value of y right it is actually 25 but what has been given 75 so a clue multiply by 3 to reconfirm whatever you have thought of is correct or not go for this so 2 plus 1 plus 20 is 23 into 3 is 69 so the answer is there okay so logic is clear fine all right next question if between is coded as this and you can see how many alphabets are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but how many numbers are there so then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It means that it's been doubled. So something is there. Right? That is getting doubled. Fine? So let's see how it goes. Now tell me I have given a clue so that how it is getting doubled you have to write the position value uh, in two digits. Now give me the answer to this. Right. So see B we know B position value is 2. But over here I can see that it has been written 0, 4. E, the position value we know is 5. Sorry. But here it is written as plus 2. Got it? So you have to write each alphabet with 2 digits. Represent You have to represent with 2 digits plus 2. Okay. So what is the answer? So go for lip L I P J K L M 12 plus 2 14 I I 9 plus 2 11 M N O P 14 plus 2 M I'm oh, sorry M 13 M N O P 13 14 15 16 so 18 so the answer is this okay fine now this is a googly huh? Question number 
Yes, Devraj. You, the position value you have to represent in two digits, and whatever the value position value is, you have to add two. Question number fifteen. Yes, M N O. Right. So this is going to be zero five. Just you are taking. Yeah, after doing, after doing such questions, right, where you are applying lot of mind, logic, and all, then you get such kind of questions, right? So in a language of cricket, what kind of ball you have got is a googly, right? You just play as it comes. Correct. Correct, Mishra ji. Correct. Fine. One more variety, which is there, right? Is of sentence coding. Okay, so here what? Uh, okay, so here this is there, right? That Pip Lee Cage is he is good. Now, uh, I didn't know about you people, but whenever I you know take the session in the class, and I simply when I give this question, okay, you solve it. So what the student do is that okay, ma'am, what's the challenge in this question? Pip is he, right? Eli is is and Cage is good. So for second third, for second third, and many a times it happens also the set which I gave right that they, even their answer tallies. So they think that okay, so this is the logic, but we know that this is not the logic, right? What is the approach we have to do over? What is the approach we have to uh, you know take over here? That say if I take these two words here, good is common, and over here I have to take two this uh, two words. It means that good is coded with the word cage. Please, friends, apply this logic. Many a times you need not, and still you get the right answer. That is that is something you know you are trying your luck, but the, you must know the logic. So what is the code for is? So I can take it now for. First and third, right? If I take first and third, here he is go, uh, common, and it for that pib. So he is for pib. So he is is going to be la. Okay, fine. So got the logic so approach. Actually, I was like more concerned not to go with that one, two, three concept. Okay. So I'm not taking the questions now. You can take all these questions. And the last one, right? Fine. This means we are going out. This means get out. Okay. What does this here means? Question number twenty. Okay. So today many of you are enjoying this session. So almost all are here. Question number twenty. A. How can it be A? What does this see? There are three coded words, and in option A there are four. Are you going out? So how come A is answer? This represents one word. This represents second word. This represents the third word. So in option also there should be three only, na? So this goes out. Got it. So apply the logic. I am giving you the answer. The answer is we are going. The answer is yes, Rashi Sharupriya. You are correct. The answer is we are going. So see, friends, you will have to write it down and get the answer. Okay. B is the correct one. Now, fine. You just check it on your own and do it. Okay. Because. 
we will be doing the practice questions on this tomorrow so don't worry about it but fine this is one more set on the same line the same thing can be instead of the words can be represented by the numbers as well smart little girl so one of the word has been represented by the numbers so you should go for this same logic is there but instead of words there is some coded language numbers are given okay and we come to the last question for the day so that we we come tomorrow we will be doing more uh, you know the questions uh, we'll be practicing more questions on the same topic but today i just wanted to make you comfortable very easy question right in this in such kind of questions in the certain like a goat is called right don't read or in the entire question which of them is a carnivorous animal and the carnivorous animal is tiger and tiger is called deer that's it that's it don't waste even a fraction of second in reading the entire question okay friends so with this i end my session over here right and tomorrow in the next session we will be doing more we will be practicing more questions on this so be prepared thank you very much